let's do some spreadsheets and we're going to be working in Microsoft Excel and we're going to be looking at the count ifs and sum ifs functions. So let's get into it. So first of all, let's remember what a count if is about. So if you remember the count if, there was a range and a criteria whenever we use a count if. So the range would be, for example, cells B5 to B12. We would look in that range of cells and then we would look for a criteria in that range. And the criteria could be greater than or equal to 50. So let's pretend B5 to B12 is a whole bunch of numbers. We want to count how many of those numbers are greater than or equal to 50. In other words, how many of the, of the values in the range meet the criteria. So that's a count if, a recap of a count if. Now what happens if there's multiple criteria? Not just one, there's multiple ones. Well, in that case, we can't use a count if. We would have to use the count ifs function. The only difference there is that there's an ifs at the end, and it works exactly the same to a count if. There's going to be a range and a criteria. The only difference this, in this one is that that is the first criteria. So it would look in that range for that criteria. Then you would put another comma after that and put in two more parameters. What are these next two parameters? Well, that would be the range and the criteria for the second criteria. So maybe in the first criteria, you're looking at a particular range for the criteria being we look for all the males in the first range. And then the second criteria, we want to look for all the, the marks that are above 50. In that case, we're looking for all the males that have got above 50. And if the only two criteria, that's great. Well, then you can put a bracket at the end of that, and there's your count ifs. What's nice about a count ifs, it doesn't just work with two criteria. There's multiple criteria available. So if you've got three or four or multiple criteria, you don't have to end it right there. You can say comma at the end of the second criteria, and then you've got two new parameters. And this is the range and the criteria for the third criteria, and so on and so on. You can keep going on like that. And so that's basically our count ifs. So let's do some examples of count ifs. So we've got an example here. We've got a whole bunch of names, and there's genders, grades, amount raised, and points gained. So let's have a look. As just a reminder that it's count ifs. There's a range and a criteria, and that's our first criteria, and then a range and criteria for the second criteria, and so on and so on. So number of males in grade 11. So first of all, the number. So we're counting them and we count all the males in grade 11. So we would look over here for the M for male and we would look over here for the grade 11. But they would both have to be true. So that we're looking for a male in grade 11. There's one. So we can count that one. Nope. There's another one. So we would count that one and so on. So that's what we're doing. So let's go use equals count ifs. And you can see there it's range criteria range one and then criteria the criteria for the first criteria so it doesn't matter which one we do let's do the males first so we're going to look at this block first so we're going to go all through this block that's my first block make sure we get that last little bit so we're looking in that range what are we looking for we're looking for a male which we denoted by an m values so remember our criteria must be in double quotes comment now we are in the second criteria's range. What's the second criteria? We want grade 11s. So I'm going to look in the grade column in this red block. So I'm going to look in the red block for a 11. So I'm going to put that in a double quote. And that's the only two things. So let's look there. We're looking for an M in the blue range. And we're looking for an 11 in the red range. And if they are both true, we will count it. So there are four grade 11 males. Next one, the number of grade 12s that raised 200 or more rand, raised more or more than 200 rand, not 200 or more, raised more than 200 rand. So how many grade 12s raised more than 200 rand? So let's see, we can do that equals, we're counting them, count ifs, because there's two criteria, it's grade 12s and how much they raised. So let's look at the grade first. So we're looking at this column first. What are we looking for in that block? We are looking for a 12, so comma, 12. But remember, your criteria must be in double quotes. So we're looking for 12. Then what's the next criteria? We want those that raised more than 200 rand. So we're looking at the amount raised as our second criteria or range. So we're looking in that block from E4 to E23. And what are we looking for in this block? Well, we're looking for all those that are more than 200 rand. 
greater than 200. But remember, your criteria must be in double quotes. So those are the only two there. So we're looking for a 12 in block D4 to D23. And we're looking for above 200 in E4 to E23. And there are five grade 12s that raise more than 200. Number of grade 12 females that gain six or more points. Whoa, there's three things there. Grade 12, female, and six or more points. That's three things. Well, luckily our count ifs can work with three criteria. Count ifs, what's criteria one? Grade 12. So let's look at this block here. What are we looking for? We are looking for a 12 in that block. Then we're looking for females. That means we're looking in the gender block. Oh, I didn't even finish that verse. Let's put a comma after that. Now we look at the gender block. What are we looking for in the gender block? We're looking for a female. So we're going to put an F there. Comma. So we're looking for a 12 in that block, an F in that block, and then gain six or more points. So we're looking at the points. As my next criteria or range and what are we looking for six or more so it's greater than equal to six but our criteria must be in double quotes so there we go we are looking for a 12 in that block we're looking for an f in that block and we're looking for greater than equal to six in that block and there are apparently four grade 12 females who gain six or more points last one number of students that raised less than 100 rand and did not gain four points equals count ifs okay so that raise less than 100 rand so we're looking at the less so the amount of money that must be less than 100 and remember your criteria must be in double quotes so we're looking in that block for less than 100 and did not gain four points in other words they did not equal to four points so we're looking at the points gained so looking at that block, but did not gain four points. How do we say not four points? Not equal to, four, not equal, shine bright like a diamond, not equal to four. So that's not equal to four, but let's put double quotes around it. So there we go, did not gain four points. I think it's referring to it exactly. So there were, there were four students that raised less than 100 rand, but that did not get a four exactly. Okay, so there we go. There's our count ifs. Now, with the sum if, it's very similar as well. If you know the sum if, just like if you knew the count if, you could do the count ifs. So, therefore, if we know the sum if, we can do sum ifs. Well, how did the sum if work again? Well, we had a range, we had a criteria, and then we had a sum range. So, in other words, it would be, for example, this range, B5 to B12. What are we looking for? We're looking for all those that are greater than or equal to 50. And if that's true, then we want to sum range d5 to d12 that would be an example of a sum if okay so look in the b range for any value that's greater than or equal to 50 and if you find a match sum the equivalent value in the d column okay so that's a sum if now how do we use if we've got multiple criteria with a sum if well we would use a sum ifs now although the count if to count ifs was easy to understand the sum ifs requires a little bit of an adjustment of understanding how the, the parameters work. So this is what you need to know about a sum ifs. Whenever you're using the sum ifs, it's the same as a sum if. The only difference is you see that sum range. That sum range needs to now move to the front. That sum range becomes the first parameter. And our range and criteria parameters just shift up a little bit. So there we go. So instead of it being range criteria in some range, the sum ifs does the sum range first, then the range and criteria. And that range and criteria would be for whatever the first criteria is. And then after that, you would put a comma and then another range and criteria for the second criteria. And if there's only two criteria, then you can put a little bracket at the end. Um, but if there's more, you can carry on going and so on. So basically, it would look for the, the criteria in the range for the first one. It would look for the criteria in the range for the second one. And if it matched all of the criteria, it would then sum the corresponding value in the sum range. Okay, so that is a sum ifs. So let's do some examples. Remember, sum ifs, you have the sum range first. That's the little shift in our understanding of how the sum if works. Slightly different to the sum if. 
some range first and then range criteria range criteria okay and remember excel will guide you if you just type in the formula it will guide you on what the, the parameters must be so we want to total the amount raised so total the amount raised by the males in grade 12 you see there's two criteria we want to look for 12 and male and only if it's a 12 and a male combined then we will add all the amount raised. So there's, this is why we would use a sum f because we want to total the the, the sum the amount raised. So there'll be sum in it, but there are two criteria. So we're going to say equals sum ifs, and there we go. Do you see? It says the sum range first. So although we would have to look at the gender and the grade first, we first just going to say, hey, when we finish doing our criteria, you must sum this one first. So we're going to sum the total amount raised so although we're not looking there first we're just taking note this is what must be added if our criteria is met so the sum range is first so the amount total amount raised the amount raised is mentioned first then we go range criteria range criteria so we want to find the male so range so this would be my second range because we had our sum range this is the next range what are we looking for we're looking for an m for the male so we're looking for an m in this block and if it's true we will sum that block but that's not the only thing we're looking for we're also looking for grade 12s which means we're going to look in this block over here so select that what are we looking for in that second block from d4 to d23 we're looking for a 12. remember criteria must be in double quotes so we're looking for a 12 in that block. We're looking for an M in that block. And if those two are true, you sum the sum range, which is what we mentioned first. So there we go. So that's the total amount raised by the grade 12 males. The total points of grade 12s that raised more than 200 rand. So we want to add up the points if it's a grade 12 and they raise more than 200 rand. So we total in the points but we're looking in there for our criteria so equals sum ifs what are we totaling first well we're totaling the points so we select the points first as our sum range then we go range criteria range criteria so range for grade 12 so all the range it's there's the list of all the grade 12 all the grades comma what are we looking for we're looking for a 12 so in double quotes, we're going to say 12. So look for 12 in D4 to D23. Comma. What's my next one? Well, it raised more than 200 rand. So we're looking at the amount raised as my second criteria. So we're looking in that range from E4 to E23. What are we looking for? We're looking for those that are more than 200. But remember, criteria must be in double quotes. So we're going to put double quotes around. So look for greater than 200 in that block. Look for 12s in that block and then sum whatever's in F4 to F23's corresponding values. So there are 22 points by grade 12s who raise more than 200. Total amount raised by females not in grade 11. So we want to sum Fs. We want the total amount raised. So we look in here. We sum in the total amount raised. That's what we sum in first, comma. What's my two criteria? Well, first is we're looking for males, so we or females, sorry. So we're looking in the gender block, so from C4 to C23. What are we looking for? We're looking for female, so we're looking for an F in double quotes, and not in grade 11. So we're looking at the grade as my next criteria, and that criteria is not grade 11. So that means shine bright like a diamond, 11, not equal to grade 11. So we are looking for not equal to 11 in that block. Okay, We're looking for an F in that block. And if those two things are the true, those two criteria are true, then you sum the corresponding value in E4 to E23. And there we go. There's the amount raised. Okay, so that's a sum if. So the, remember, with a sum if, where a sum if you had the sum range at the end, with the sum ifs, the sum range comes first, and then you go range criteria, range criteria, range criteria. Okay, there we go. That's a sum if. For more videos on Excel, go to our YouTube channel, subscribe, and like this video. We'd love to hear your feedback, so leave a comment. And remember, don't do it the long way. Do it the Mr. Long Way.